All done with the big drill. We'll get out of this sticky ground. Well, this didn't exactly go as planned. Hi, I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. Our family has been blessed to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. And it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. Remember that shower I said it went north of us? It went through here. Came down to the bottom of the hill. Sorry, I turned on the roll like I normally do and swung the back of the drill around with the hydraulics. And it didn't swing like it normally does, it just kind of skidded. And the inside slid in the ditch. So, we have to bring in the tractor. We're going to try and drag the back of the drill that direction as I back up a little bit and then swing it out onto the road like it's supposed to be. Back on level ground. Can you go a couple more feet, then I might be able to just swing it around like normal. Yeah, I think so. Get close to the shank and stuff. And then I think you're missing the dome on the other side on the cart. Go ahead. Yeah, I can see the cart fine. If I just back up another couple feet without you pulling and see what direction it goes. Yeah, already a little bit, but keep coming. I talked over you. Go ahead, I'm pulling you sideways already. I think gonna go from there. Okay. Well, I got the fuel truck up here. It was a little bit uh, worse getting out of it where it was. But we're here. Let's go fill a drill. Well, Tony got in a little predicament and I had to go help him pull the drill around the corner. It got kind of slippery. Now I'm in a predicament, huh? It hits my drill and the jack is sunk in. So I will uh, improvise here and try to get it lifted up. Pretty good. 
pitch pin isn't quite all the way in, but it's it's going to work. We've been uh, running these new tires, the big ones. This is where I uh, try to get up the hill. Didn't sink in any much anyway. A little spun out. Seem to have really good flotation. Need to get a little more weight on on this tractor, I think, because of all the flotation. We have a little little issue getting up hills, spinning, but we seem to be making them all. I think there's a song about this seeding in the rain. Get to the other end, I'm done. Time to get new wipers too. These tires are still pulling. Got one more hill. system to good use again, the blockage prevention from air guard. That's yeah, so far awesome. Well, 3-3 is blocked on the fertilizer minerals, so we'll go see if it's build up or a chunk of something. Well, that's clean as can be in there on the sensor. Must have a chunk in here though. Well, the problem is the scraper's got some build up on it from something, so dig that out, should be good to go. Yesterday was a. Uh... Ugh. Sloppy. <laughs> the entire truck is that way. Oh, it was bad. Anyway. I think Tony's been going almost all night. So. Oh, what the world? Come on. Yeah, I'm not much of a morning person either. But why my truck just died, I have no idea. Oh, something right there. Ooh, that's loose. Try this again. Oh, okay. Well, I have to take deeper measures. I tightened that. Hopefully tighten now. Atypical of a ground. Always check your ground. Believe it or not, the roads are actually drying up already. It's 7.30 in the morning. So that the 
drill is not blocking the path to the seat cart. So that's, he's gonna crank it around pretty hard. And that gives me a straight shot to it. And he'll jump out, he'll throw the mic rope out. And then I'll know where to get lined up. So, he's got the rope, out it goes. Now I know where to go. If I can get it here. Sensors unplugged or uncoated. They get thick layer of fertilizer and also weak dust on them, and they can't read right. And then uh, stuff was stuck on the inside of the hose that began to fall off when it got dry, and that was like having a and that was having a hard time going through the boots in the ground. So it's been a little miserable today getting everything cleaned out and whatnot. But now I know. I think I would have been all right just to high humidity, but not a combination of rain and humidity. I only didn't see it for that little shower that went through, but then, uh, now I know. Head to fill up the drill. Got uh, pretty much everything emptied out pretty evenly. Got 40 acres of fertilizer left in one tank, I guess. 20 in the other. Potash is pretty much gone. Seven acres left and 14 acres of spring wheat left. But I was going right past the road back and forth to the trucks, time to stop. Boy, Tim sure did a number on getting his truck dirty. Thank goodness for them showers, I'll take those. Those are nice showers. Well, we got three different trucks up here with three different products on it, which isn't convenient. We got this nice Super V's, but we're a long ways from the van, so every time I fill a drill, those Super V's would have to run back and refill everything. Uh, this way, the trucks in the field. Tim isn't tied down to tender for me. He can go do other things, getting that land rolling done. I'm the last peas we seeded, and uh, then help dad with the spray truck and any of that kind of stuff he needs to move in and all that. So I'm kind of self sufficient right now out in the seat, as long as I got full trucks. I won't have this drill. I think I'll have, hopefully, have the two fertilizer trucks and the so Then he can come back and fill those up and finish his vlog.
Hopefully we can beat the rain. I think we can. It'll be a long day. I thought the rain has to come late. But we'll try. Should show you guys how this sectional control works. So when I see the field, I see the outside round. And then it creates a boundary, which is this blue line around the outside of the field. And then do my settings in here and everything. I make a line that I tell it'll be 100 foot drills. So I go 95 feet in from, well, it'll be 195 feet in from the blue line. It creates this fake line, this sectional control line, which is this yellow one right here. So when I get seeded up to there, it shuts off what's outside of that zone, this light gray zone, the dark zone is the no apply. So that is how I create my sectional control map. When I get the field completed, I will switch it over, like I'll hit this button, it'll shut off my sectional control. And bam, there it is. Seat full width for a little bit here. I'll shut that back off though, I'm gonna wait seat. See I threw a little bit of dark green right there? Well that was seed. So then when I'm all done with the rest of the field, I'll turn it back to the section control off and I'll seed that. And then I'm not disturbing a whole lot of other things that were seeded over here, full width and you know what I mean? Like if I was seeding all this right now, I had just this little path to go through here and shut off my sections, then I would like compromise the stand there by dragging shanks through ground already seeded. You know what I mean, Brian? All right, yeah, you know, you know. If you know, you know. Oh, looky there. We're done with wheat. Time to go home. Bye, Hard. Bray Harder. See you next video.